I'm Gordy Kegs. This is South of the Circle. Enjoy. Antarctica. 1964. <laughs> oh, that's starting off great. South of the circle. Oh, am I playing? Hold the... What? Hold symbols to express their... I don't know. What What does that mean? Uh, conf, What? Hey. Wait, what? Yeah, well, Okay. Uh, why? Hey, hey, come on, wake up, uh, wake up. All right. Uh, why? Oh, thank God you're all right. Ah, I, God, my leg is jammed. It's jammed in here. How do I? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, here, let me help. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Anything I can do? Uh, I'll see if there's a first aid kit around, will you? Should be behind. There's got to be something. What am I? I don't know what I'm doing. What is happening? Okay, I got that, but I don't know. I don't understand the. Okay. Oh no, step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, look, what do I do here? What do I do here? What do I do here? Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, it's not gonna last forever though. I don't know what the red is. What is the red? What is the red? Where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. I mean, I like this, but I don't know what I'm doing. If anybody has any idea what's happening. Mayday, right now. Mayday. this is Alpha because Romeo I don't Lima. Know. I don't know. I crashed south of Deception. Uh, coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday, do you read? Yeah, see the, did you see the, see the red circle up there? What, what does that do? Do you think you can move? Or is that just like a light in the game? Uh, 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 well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, uh. Not in this weather either. Yeah, that too. Okay. At least I saved the plane. What was that? I don't know why I singled you out. We were about to fly over one of the British outposts at Deception Point. Oh, that's actually there. that's actually in the game. I bet I got a doctor. Yeah, yeah I, I think I can see it. So can you make it? Um, make it. It's, it's freezing. So out. red, I think red is like a we negative response, and can, we blue is a good. Okay, I'm gonna not do anything and see what happens. Uh, we 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 could wait. Okay. Come on, mate. Your I don't know what happened. Godmother's not gonna magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? How far away do you think it I... is? It could be five, ten miles. I'm assertive. We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. Good man. I'm not going to do the bad one. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Uh, flares. You keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I'll help you get your bearings. 
Hi. Oh God, am I passing out? I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. I'll be back as soon as I can. You just mind that leg. This is cool already. It's ten below zero. Wish me luck. Okay. Best of British luck. The best of British luck. I don't know what that means, but I like the animation of this a lot. Ooh, I love these types of games. I would totally just play this game solo. Like not even like not streaming. I wonder how much control I actually get. We'll see. Oh. Oh, I'm walking. Is this Frostpunk 2? How do I tactical roll? <laughs> how do I tactically roll? This is... Let me know if the volume's too loud. It looks quite loud. Hang on, I think it is too loud. Is it like really, really loud? Oh no, touch. I feel like that didn't do anything. Just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. Oh, what? What's going on? Am I to board the train? Excuse me, ma'am. Might and tie a seat. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. Dear, let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Watch your back. Lift with your legs. It's easier with both of us, don't you think? Uh, shy, negative. No, I'm just, I'm gonna let it play out. All right. Um, okay. Okay, I get it now. Three, one, two, three. <laughs> and they fell <laughs> madly in love and lived happily ever bricks. after. Oh, that's what's in here. <laughs> it's not bricks. Well... Uh, there you go. Teamwork. What is this one? <laughs> Not a problem at all. Yeah, okay, I know the assertive Thank one. You. Right, um... Hang on. What was the... Oh, caring. Okay. Caring. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, now kiss. Now kiss and have babies. Little babies. Let's have 500 babies. Uh, caring. Let's go caring. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're, you're marking all of that. I'm trying to. I can't complain. I wonder if we're going to help. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. <laughs> uh, let's go with X. X, go and give it to you. Feel free to complain to me if it helps. <laughs> it might. Oh. Thank you. How oh, you? Uh, long journey? Yes. All the way from Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I got to sneeze. I got to sneeze. Where are you headed? Cambridge. Oh. And you are too, I can see that. Maybe not. Uh, you can see how. Is it my Yo, what's up, Coopers? How are you? For Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? Your book fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Uh, which makes me think it's going to be sad. Take a look? Oh, yes. Um, I do mind. Yes. He said yes. Formulation of complex cloud patterns, <laughs> J.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. Enthusiastic and interested. 
Sorry, I've been playing the Switch a lot. I keep looking at my controller to make sure I'm hitting the right button. This one for my undergraduate. Hi, Gaimic. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. How are you? Fact Welcome you've on. Got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Uh, B. Uh, how long have you been here? It'll be my second year. I'm gonna do this one, whatever that means. Doctor Hamilton. Clara doctor. McCurick. How do you do? He's a doctor. A doctor. Oh, you're a bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry. It's just a just a telegram. Oh, you're a your telegram. Sorry. I'm gonna not say it's anything. Nothing. Just something from my professor. I'm all right. I'm doing all right. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? Uh, I'm gonna be shy. It's completely fine. Oh, negative really? shy downcast. Oh, did I do something wrong? No! Which button leads to babies? Professors no. do love a telegram, don't they? Your sound's just like my old one. My I, lo I love her accent. Talk about your work, like we're still at school. I love her accent so much. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future, deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I, I know. <laughs> Gio. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. I'm not going to be assertive. I'm not. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, oh, that I made the right choice. Babies. Welcome to come to mine. So many babies. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Oh, thousands. You must be good. Thousands? Well, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. I wish I still had the boing. Um... Oh, there's a red light up ahead. Wait, what if he did I this? I suppose I can get a little more work Wait. done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? Excuse me. <laughs> it was you? <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys the, the funny fart joke we used to do? Um, if we were ever at like a hangout or like a party or whatever and someone farted and didn't say anything, somebody else in our group, like a couple of us, would claim it. We'd be like, oh, sorry, that was me. Because a lot of times the person who actually farted would be like, no, it wasn't. I farted. And then we'd be like, what does it matter? Like, why Why did you have to point that out? <laughs> it was good. It was a good joke. It was a good time. Oh, 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 oh. It's magic, you know. I'm walking through some deep snow. It's the Arctic, you know. What's in this box? Okay, nothing is in that box. Those barrels are obviously explosive. Hello? Hello, is anyone here? Actually, it's probably actually gasoline, so it probably is explosive. All right, we made it. Game over. Yo, I ended up watching Aliens last night again. It was so Hello? good. Such a good movie. Such a good Anybody movie. Anybody here? Oh, I'm control. Oh. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. So, do come and see me if you have any questions oh, there on There was the only lecture. three people. One or two would be nice. I'm guessing that's the girl in the background. She's going to make fun of us for saying thousands. You can leave if you like. It's over. Ort. Do you have a question? I do, in fact. <gasps> uh, yes? Oh. Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? I'm not gonna... Why would I be rude? Oh, oh, it's you. I'm um, excited to come. <laughs> oh, and she saw us with three people. I'm gonna be ex excited. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you are too bad. Huh. Well, oh, I'm I like that. I think I'm gonna like this game. Glad you thought so. 
I think I'm really going to like this game. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy <clears> at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating. You're oh, right. Oh, this is cute. Quite poetic, I thought. Oh. Uh, shy. I can get a bit carried away sometimes. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove <coughs> it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. I love that a it's bouncing back and forth between the past and the paper, future. I would have or thought. present. <coughs> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my useful subject, like you. It's true, I am a... An excellent <laughs> subject. <laughs> that is awesome. Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Oh. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. Wow. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Oh, I'm staying. Oh, I'm oh, staying. Uh, well, why, why not? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers. This is so cute. I love this. And again, that makes me think it's going to be really sad. Oh, my gathering. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, it looks ransacked. Upstairs. Okay. I wonder what happened here. This is. I love the art style too. The art style is so nice looking. January third, day twenty three. Uh, normal observe. Normal obs. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, normal. Oh my god. Observation same distance. Closer. No change. Closer. Is it like a storm or something? I probably found the base for the thing. That's like one. That's probably my favorite horror movie ever. It's either that or The Shining. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Who's this one? Luckily, I'm a doctor in lines. Uh, of course. Blue, purple, and red. Oh, God. Where am I? Okay. <clears throat> so it, I'm guessing that was like a storm and they evacuated probably. Because it was saying it was getting closer. Aha! A squiggle! <laughs> Val... Valproa... Valproate? I don't know what that... Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Why is it so fast? Oh my god, why? I, how, why is it... I. Why is it so fat? Oh my god. Oh my god. I oh 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 it's so sensitive. My oh oh my god. Valproate. Sodium valproate. Uh, migraine um, oh my god, my oh my god. Oh my god, stop! Migraines, epilepsy, and bipolar. I love that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Can we light the foyer? No. Spin, baby. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Oh, here we go. Dear Annie, it's getting... Oh, it's hard getting word out now. Locked down by the weather. Jones's condition has taken a turn for the worse. The last supply drop didn't bring enough medicine. He's upstairs in the lab now. Poor chap. Still doing his observation work, muttering, they're getting closer. Over, oh, sorry, muttering, they're getting closer over and over. It's unsettling to other men now. We're trapped here and nobody knows what to do. Oh. Wait, what's getting I said they are getting closer. What is that? What that means? What does that mean? They are getting closer? Oh, there's a door over here. Frost, I think you're right. I think it's the thing. I'm pretty sure this is the... This is the sequel to the thing. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna trust anybody and I'm gonna kill everybody that's on this thing with a flamethrower. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Frost <Yeah>. Amazing. <laughs> I love this, by the way. This is, I love this. Oh, is that the generator? Uh, oh my God, I'm stuck. Okay. <clears throat> hey, how long do you guys think until I break the game? What do you guys think? Like I'm gonna get, find a glitch, it's gonna crash. <laughs> and it's totally not the developer's fault. It's gonna be my fault. Is there nothing in here? Can I really not do anything? I feel like there's something in here. 15 minutes. Yeah, probably. Twenty minutes? Okay. Can I run? I mean I guess I wouldn't really be running. You know, if you're ever in the if you guys ever stumble upon the Antarctic or the Arctic, uh you don't you don't want to sweat. You sweat, you die. You sweat, you die. Okay, it's locked. Uh, because you'll get wet. You get wet, and then once you stop working and you're sweating, you cool off significantly because of all the wind and the, and the cold and the lack of humidity. You'll just Hello? You'll sweat and die. Or you'll freeze and die very quickly. Not that anyone's ever going to find themselves lost in the Antarctic, but if you ever do, remember that. <clears throat> oh, that bug was ridiculous. If we're thinking of the same bug, it's obviously 420. 420 right there. <laughs> Hello. Hello, yeah. can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? Oh. I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter. Oh, uh, hello there. Sorry. Ah. Good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy. In here, now do sit down. You got my note, I presume? Uh, yeah. I did. Well, I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. I don't you, really so want to use the right answer. Seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? Uh, I'm gonna be shy. It's still very much work in progress. I'm gonna be shy. And most of them are, are, are just. Uh, Weather readings from my contacts in South America. So, do you think maybe he was going to the Antarctic to like Not test out his theory yet. of whatever he's you researching? Will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. Abreast. Yes, I will keep you abreast. And you'll be the first to know, I assure you. I you'll be the first to be abreasted. Good grief. I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. Oh, he just, that's a What is it this insult. time? No. Oh. More of them today, I see, getting ready for another march, I suppose. And I can't quite believe how many women are out there. The more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this <clears throat> Well, that guy's sexist. I mean, it is the so 60s, I guess. Academic so. work. Not surprising. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Uh, I'm going to be aggressive. Soviet sympathizers? Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. I wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. About politics? That's right. Sit down. Okay. I wonder, I, I have no idea how the story's going to play out. This is so cool. What worries me is that all that 
is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This guy seems kind of like a little bit of a. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Uh, this one. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Oh, is he worried about like losing funding or suggesting something? Suggesting we're a soft touch <laughs> to breeding ground for communists oh i need to show we're serious about what we do and what i need from you is something publishable oh okay um let's be this one assertive Absolutely. that's that's what i intend to write i don't doubt it that's sure okay is good that's probably why we go to the antarctic great. this is a great institution peter i need to prove its worth and i need you to prove yours too. Okay. Let's be assertive. Of, of course I will. It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Completely. I I'll do my best. It will be a first rate piece of work. Thank you. Tell this guy to shut I look up. Forward to seeing you. <laughs> I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. That's all. A, a promotion? Oh, uh... One more thing. That's never good. One Whatever. more thing. When anybody says that, it's never good. The atmosphere here. Things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed. It's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. Oh, You know protests. all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. You know all about... I'm going to do... The, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't? don't. No. A Soviet spy ring, recruited right here in Cambridge, passing so secrets to, Cambridge to the University? Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang for things like this. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Something's going on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. What is? Are we a spy? They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I want to be 0069. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. I'm going to say yes, absolutely. because I don't know what he's talking about. Trust me. Glad to hear. Yeah, aye, aye, Captain. No idea what you're out. talking about. You carry on. You think this guy's, <laughs> this guy's the fifth spy? That would make sense. Oh, is that our friend? It's Peter here. Oh, okay, it is our friend. Hell yeah. Uh, I could, but there's no doctor here. Nobody. Well, there's, there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Uh, it's impossible. They have, to, they have to have someone stationed. So what the hell happened? Out. Floyd, it's not just the place is empty. Every, everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they, it's like they've all vanished. I wonder what happened. They might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. Take them a vehicle and hit it out. Well, maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been fighting? No, no, why would anyone need to fight out here? Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can, you hear me? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. We need to like I don't know for sure, but it's possible that the base you were in might have been attacked. Might have been attacked. I'm not gonna say anything. Or I'm not gonna like attacked. This is a research station. Who would attack this place? 
Listen, there's something you don't know. The Soviets? Oh, the Soviets. Uh, here. Tetchy? Is that a word? Except us, we know about it. You're being paranoid, Floyd. Paranoid Floyd, old paranoid Floyd. He's got a good point. Come back and we'll make another plan. What about you? He does have a good point. He does have a good point. Okay. There's a map here. A map? Right. What's on it? Deception I, point? I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything Why would they call it Deception Point? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? There are more buildings. I know the Norwegians are stationed down here, too. They're metal mm. people at the Norwegian base. I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat by the Soviets. Okay, so we're going to have to make our way to the other, the other base. I do got keys. Got them. So why don't we take the vehicle, pick him up, and come back? You know? You know? Up ahead, I feel like we should take the car to go get him. Rock, but maybe we don't have gas. But there was like rock. barrels of gas everywhere. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. I've got my hands. That's all. That would be insane. Make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof of my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Keep going, for Christ's sake. Okay. Now we find the flamethrower. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I'm going to not say anything. I will, and, and remember those flares. Yeah, I heard you. Hey, look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. <laughs> look, I've got to go. I'm stuck here in a plane. I got so much, so many things to do. I can't chat. I just got so many. I got, I got a lot of stuff on the go. You know, the whole broken leg, stuck in a plane. It's really taking up all my time. Can't chat. <laughs> this thing looks cool. I would love to drive this. I hope I actually get to drive in the game, but I would love to drive one in real life. That would be sick. Oh, we have just over half a tank of gas. Okay, bye. Oh, this is cool. I wish I could like rotate my camera around. We should do donuts. Oh, is our gas actually going down? I can't tell. Oh, oh, is there like a road? What is that? What are those marks? Is that just telling me where to go? Thanks for picking me up like that. Oh, watch. It's going to change to us driving. Yeah. Sick. There we go. I must have looked a terrible seat. Did you miss the bus? I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, I think I'm setting on something. Oh, sorry, it's your papers. Oh no, you've oh, got, my, got my papers wet. all wet. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. 
you, would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand. Okay, so I can. Oh, that's rude. That's uh, yeah. Sorry, my goodness. I'm not gonna say anything. Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Well, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might Chatting on the wrong side of the road. That's all. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, bro. Sorry. Just, well, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit That's sensitive. true. That is true. Crosswise. I thought, Maybe it's like an homage. Professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Full speed ahead. Drift. <laughs> Take a look if you like. You're an excellent note taker. <laughs> probably classified <laughs> top secret. Could be an Easter egg. That would be so sick. And where is yours? May I ask? May I? Read yeah, you show that? me yours. I'll show you mine. You have research paper. I, I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> what do you guys think of this game so far? I love it. Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My it's neat, proposal yeah. was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. It's only apparently like five hours long, and I'm kind of speed running it because I'm really good at games. Um, I we might just beat it today. Trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. My friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Uh, be nice. Well, if you're anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks. Doctor. Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put these safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Do you think they're gonna break up though? Like it Even looks on like. A day like this, I, I do don't know. love this journey. I love the rain. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Like I can't tell if like they're gonna break up and that's why he goes oh. to the Antarctic, or if it's like. She's gonna be the reason he survived. You know what I mean? Like he's having memories, and it's gonna push him Picking along. You up in this mighty steed. <laughs> well, yes. He needs a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better than picking up ladies. Oh well, you can just about <laughs> foot one, and if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. This is great. Thanks this is so cute. Yeah, this is very cute. Getting me out of the rain like that. I want to be kind. Don't mention it. No, uh, no, it was an inconvenience. <laughs> It won't happen again. But what if I want it to happen again? Oh, radio. How do I? This is the BBC Live program. How is Gurley? Gurley's at work. Talks began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, I can only assume and Russia over the uh, terrible. of the Antarctic Treaty, <laughs> which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need oh. to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes We're talking will be about on Russia, Antarctica. whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern <laughs> for the Oops, British sorry. government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era. Heckin' Russian government. I hope this game we bring down the Russian government. <laughs> we. Now the real question is, can I drive it off the cliff? Let's find out. No. Okay, it won't let me drive off the cliff. Just for science, you know, just for science. This looks so cool. I wonder if this game has multiple endings because of all the choices. Uh, don't tell me though. I don't want to know anything. I just want—I don't know much about this game at all, so I just know that I was gonna love it. That bus? What is that? Five, six in a row now? I don't know. I counted. You're gonna run out of fuel. Maybe. It'll never happen again. It does seem that way at some point, yeah. Oh wait! Oh look, there's Molly. Wow! I, I haven't seen her in ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? Who's Molly? Moles! 
Clara! Oh, it's wonderful to see you! Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> is this your handsome bus driver? <laughs> I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. Oh, uh... Heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Joining you here outside. On the big march? The From Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march. Oh, okay. Morning. So Straight they're protesting to about tens of thousands de or er, denuclearization. De Four days walk, isn't that right? Four days walk. Oh, that, that's a long walk. Worth it to save the world, don't you think? It's a waste of time, isn't it? If this is a waste of time, I'd like to know what really was worth someone's time. Oh, sorry, uh... Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not huh. showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. <clears throat> uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Do you think this will make a difference? It jolly well has to, don't you think? Considering what's at stake, we're all under threat. I would have thought as a man of science, you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. Ooh. Seems Clara's told you all my secrets. So we're studying radiation no, carried by the secret. clouds. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's interesting. Fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. Disarming. Setting an example to the world. But once one person has nukes, it kind of needs... Wouldn't the kinda, think we were weak yeah, if we did that? Nuclear we're deterrent. Naive, you know. We want the three sides to stop entrenching themselves. All this posturing of theirs can mutually only end one way. Mutually it's assured destruction. Disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer Is to the end. Is that what it's called? Well, I agree, although with any luck, they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Is it assured? Mutually assured destruction? I think so. Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter, would you... Do I want to play a game? I am playing a game. Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. <laughs> good to meet you, too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? We're making babies. Wouldn't no, don't ban them. And in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? May, this game Enough is points. really cute and very cool so far. Are we off now? You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever heard of that. If you want to ban somebody? I'm sure you'll get your chance. No more than you are. I'm just going to be nice. I'm usually chaotic. I'm going to be like... I'm going to play this how I would play this. I'm just going to be like pleasant and nice, hopefully, but stern at times if I have to. Oh, we're driving again. The art style on this game is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. This looks like a castle or something. Wait, why am I? Why are you making me drive? Okay. Watch war games and then write a report on it. What is with the the twee what is twee twee english accents i don't know we're in england right where we were in england oh can we see the base from is this is where we're supposed to see the base from Our gas gauge is gone too, which is weird. Time for another flashback. Here we go. Blast from the past. Oh no, we're not. I lied. I can see the base. Oh, it is a flashback. I've got a pretty good idea. You need to get out more. Uh, stern. I have to work. Oh come on, old chap. Old chap. Never really understood it. Here you are writing about clouds, and yet you never see the sky. I like sci-fi. What do you know? Uh, yeah, I, I watched Aliens last night. It was it, again. So if you could, well, let's see some of these <laughs> such a good movie. 
I love it. I'm not sure which one I like more, though. One or two. Oh, his top secret is it? Oh, I meant to pass the yawn to somebody. Let me know who catches it. Aliens is the best movie. It's so good. I'm going to rewatch one at some point and see which one I like better. What do you think, Sam? They're both I'm really sure good. sure some though. of it is very good. Yeah. I really have got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, old chap. Well, we'll hit that wall sometimes. It's all part of writing a paper. Oh, no, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. Oh, uh, they're like ripping into me. Joseph not mention he got a promotion too. It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department. Eventually, professorship. You can't reach those heights if you stay in this hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point quite was put that it. saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. There's a lot of like, be a man. I'm going to do the nice one. All, I'm right. Be nice. all right, maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. Oh, it's not pity. We uh, I don't know which one we I saw. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. I don't remember. I just picked don't one. Don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. He wants to start over? To see where you've gone wrong, that's all. That it helped I you. did, yeah. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. All right, then. What do you suggest? Oh, okay. Sam? Cool. I cracked my back. I know what you need. Oh. Uh... Go on, then. What? What do you need? It's so oh. inspiration. Those three new girls. You know the ones. Is he trying to hook us up with undergrads? They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening, and so, my good man, shall we? Eight o'clock. See you there? No. No, no, I should work. You should come. But if you can't, that's one girl for Sam and two for me. We'll buy you a <laughs> pint anyway. See you later, old chap. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? Phrasing? What did I say? Was it me or them? Oh, there you are. Seven o'clock, I thought. What was the, I, sorry, I don't know what you said. Oh, oh okay. Late. <laughs> Come sit, I got you some tea. Oh, great idea, thank you. Uh, sugar for you? No sugar. Uh, not for me, thanks. Okay. No sugar. Wait, what? That's a that's a life choice? I chose no sugar? Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? What? Oh, uh, well, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. The paper, again? Still all-consuming? I, I really like this. All-consuming. I really like this. I don't blame so you. That is indeed a life choice. Quite a bit too. True. True. Uh, you have? Ab about my paper? Yes. I like tea, but I never drink tea, like, ever. And I have Tell probably, you know, I would, realistically, I would say 25 to 30 flavors of tea in my house. And I have one, like, every, like, six months. <laughs> I have a lifetime supply. I thought you could handle it. Uh, I can, I can. Well, it's, a, it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. I know. I know. It, it, I like it. could be something great. It could. It would be, like... Having a superpower, being able to predict the path of the clouds. You really, yeah, same. And next yeah. step, control the weather. You just drink it when you're sick. You could be Cloud Man. Cloud Man. Are you taking this seriously? <laughs> well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. He precipitates justice. <sighs> this weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me, so that's why I choose to remember it. 
That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I sometimes put milk occasionally, depending on the tea. Take us up there once in a while. But um, I usually just yeah, I just drink it black. One brother, older. Like orange pico, I like a little bit of milk in it, like a tiny, like a tiny bit. Are you all right? Yes. Sorry. I I didn't mean to pry. It's just um, he was killed. Motorcycle oh, no. near the cottage when he was uh, 18. I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. Yeah, I definitely won't put sugar in I'll tell you that much. It happened. Uh, 16. With coffee, I, I, do, I do put milk in coffee, though. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. Oh, at the cottage, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab this an is axe, cute. Go out each morning, chop wood. So you could be the woodsman, then. No, I'm Cloud Man. I'm not being a woodsman. Oh, better than the Cloud Man. No, Cloud Man, it is. Oh no, I, I, I like Cloud Man. Maybe sugar if it's bad. I won't so, even put it in if it's bad. Clouds. I'll just You're drink a it. Beautiful subject. <laughs> what do you think you need? Oh well, that's simple. It's just more add more milk. Readings to work with. Hmm, sounds achievable. Well, in theory, yes, but they need to be first-hand, verifiable. All right. I take it it all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors? Hmm, you got it. So that's where we go to Antarctica. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote. That's why we're going to Antarctica. need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Hmm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe. Maybe what? What? Well, that cottage I mentioned, it's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. And now would be the time to go with summer coming up. Oh, I'm going to say yes. All summer free. Well, I'd have it. to check with my father, but it's remote. Just that's a true. place in the woods with a log fire. Honey and tea? And I've never done that. I love honey, though. Oh, I can just, like, drink a bottle of honey. I am. That's <laughs> just the kind of place. If it wouldn't so kill me eventually, I could just drink a bottle of honey. I'm going to say pinky promise. Oh, I promise you that. Mm, promise me that. Anyway, no more past tense. No more past tense. Eh? Honey and hot water is nice. That... Sorry. Really? I, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage until I started talking about it. I shouldn't have said anything. You don't have to go. Thanks for understanding. This is so cute. Still, it sounds perfect for the work. A dash of lemon? Mm. I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just you know what I like about this game right now? I don't the dialogue... know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. The dialogue feels... Well, if you're worried a lot more father, genuine than, like, typical no, writing. I'm not worried about him. It's just not like this sounds a lot of it sounds like what people would actually say ringing the changes like malls. instead of like dialogue you know what I mean like TV <laughs> writing even knows what she's up to you I don't know it might just be me shouldn't you striding forward at the front quite the force of nature <laughs> mm -hmm. awkward silence awkward silence the bus would make it there the bus that would cost a fortune not that bus silly your no. bus. Your bus. Ding ding. Oh, oh, the mighty, the mighty steed. steed. Of course. It seems well written. Well, yeah. The roads are pretty rough. Would you cope with it? Honey, lemon, and ginger tea when I'm sick. Ooh. I think I have a ginger tea somewhere. I'm gonna do this one. I have absolutely no idea. The Piccadilly. Oh, we're driving. I gotta, I gotta hold the accelerator. Careful. We want to make it in one piece. We do. I didn't suggest the route. Just keep driving. I know it seems to go on forever. Just trust me. The cottage is only a few miles away now. I'm excited to see it. Mm, me too. Okay. I thought we were going I've to Antarctica. Been here so long. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know. I don't quite know if things will feel different coming back. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Okay. 
I love this art style, dude. This art style is just gorgeous. And, and thank you. Need some caffeine. I'm sleepy. Oh, I'm so sleepy today, too. I know this is a big thing. <laughs> well, I told him I was taking a friend. I didn't mention you were a man. <laughs> What's up, Glonky? Oh. How uh, are you? Do, you? do you think he disappeared? How have you been, Glonky? Not exactly. We no, haven't really interacted well, in a, a little bit. I know you've been popping yes, by every once in a while, but I haven't really asked you how you've been. Well, thank you for coming how you along. Been? Well, in, in, inviting me and coming along. Oh, no. I mean, without me, who'd you find it for a start? I couldn't rightly let you run away all by yourself. So you're running away with me? Stop it. These two are this cute. This is purely professional, isn't it? We could run away. Ditch the paper. Live in the woods. <laughs> These you two are, are cute together. You are being presumptuous, aren't you? No, I'm here to help. You'll need help with the equipment and recording all the data, all that. I couldn't leave you stranded up here in the middle of nowhere. I'd hunt for our dinner, be the man of the woods. <laughs> oh, he's back, is he? The woodsman. <laughs> the woodsman. I'm telling you, I could do that. Just no, I'm cloud man. the kind of man who remembers to fill up the tank when we're off to the middle of nowhere. Well, I am. I hope this, this is isn't a big mistake. Oh, time to tune the radio. Wait. This is 106.9 Gordy FM. Coming to you live. Ten commercials in a row. Okay, well. BBC, it's the news. This is the BBC. Here is the news. I wish I could make my microphone sound like that. Over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, microphone. we're in deadlock last night, with Soviet Russia threatening to walk out of discussions early. The new oh, president, Lyndon B. Johnson, made an impassioned speech during which he criticized the Soviets' aggressive stance and reasserted the need for compromise. The hmm. president described the Russians as playing a lethal hand and asserted that continuing to do so would risk leading the world into war okay i didn't know this was going to be like about the war like the cold war i mean that's it's cool it's fine but i just didn't know i'm, I'm way more interested in the relationship between these two than than the war story going on at first, I kind of like rolled my eyes. Where I was like, oh, we're going back in time to learn about his love life. But I'm actually like pretty invested. It's, it's really good. It's really cool. I wonder why we, why did we even have a gas gauge? Maybe it was just like a little thing to be like, we didn't have enough gas to go get our friend and then also get here. It just implies it. We are here. We made it. Looks like we made it. Look how far I've come now, baby. They said. <laughs> Hello, do you have any sugar? Oh, is that door open? That's not good. You guys see that right there? The door is open. That's really not good. If this turns out to be some crazy sci-fi game, I'm going to be in heaven. It's a Soviet base. That's not good. Oh yeah, okay, Mr. Tough Guy. We're going to kill some Soviets with a rock. Like, there's gonna be nobody here, but if, they, if there were, they'd probably have like guns, you know. Hey, 
There's no one here either. And what the hell happened? This is so cool. I really hope it turns out to be like a crazy sci-fi game. I really hope so. What's going on? Oh, these transitions are so nice. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened? What happened today? It's not your fault. I just want you to know that. But these boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're. Oh, okay. We got bullied. Side. We got bullied. Don't you listen? Yeah, to but me. we're cloud man. We should have clouded them up. You know. Whatever that means. All right. Here he is. Oh, I was like, I, I hear someone upstairs. It was actually in the what game. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. A rabbit hutch. <clears throat> okay, this is like 50s dad. He's going to wait. He's going to be like, you need to punch him in the nose. No, more tears, eh? no, no, he's, he's settled. Pass me on. It's gone. It's all right. We'll be fine. Well, if you're sure what... Good night, Pete. Good night, Mama. Oh. Good night, Mama. Bye. All right, Dad. Miss me with that shiz. <laughs> Coming for you, Gio. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a yawn your way. You just wait. Oh, Peter. What are we gonna do with you? Your mother won't have liked me saying this. But it's true. You've got to learn to stand up for Called yourself. It. The next time you hit them back, you hear me? An eye for an eye. Yep. That's what I've always said. Exactly. Stab their eyes out. I got it. Got it, Pop. Still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. <laughs> I know it sounds hard, but life's hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? There. That's fatherly advice. Yeah, I don't want to hear another word. Um, I'm pretty sure my dad had the same talk with me when I was younger. Just being like, if you ever get bullied, just punch him oh, square in the nose. <laughs> like, you're either going to continue to get bullied, which would happen anyway, or you're going to, you know, punch someone in the nose and stop it. See you in the morning. Not that I'm saying I agree with that advice, but my dad definitely said that to no me. More tears. At some point. <laughs> I don't remember how old I was. I'm pretty sure he also said that about my brother. He was like, just hit him back. Girls get told, told to ignore it. I think I don't need, like I don't know how to handle bullies. I guess but I don't know. I don't know how I would handle it. I, I wasn't really bullied too much as a kid. Pew. Pew. You got told to fight back. Yeah. You were three. Did you hear? I said you are not going to see her. Oh, don't get me started. I don't know whether you think it's such a bad idea. When you get any mellow, anyway. I know it's a bad idea. Yeah, same, Coopers. I got told the same thing. Just be like, don't start it, but you can finish it. <laughs> not that I'm like a violent person, but. Yeah, exactly, man. That's it. That's yeah. Come up and. Father taught me, and now it's 
Michael as a father. Well, Michael doesn't look like he could be complimenting. Boys need dignified. Boys? Boys, you're the boys. Every boy? That is the creakiest door. Missed out during the war. It's nothing. I made a mistake. What the hell are you doing out there for? I wasn't. Don't lie to me, Peter. What did I say? What did I say before I left? No more tears. And no more sound, I said. So why are you disobeying me, eh? You are in serious trouble tomorrow. I don't like this guy. I'm going to punch him in the nose. <laughs> Give him the old one, two, how do you do, you know? <laughs> oh, what was that thing Mango said? I forget. The left, right, good night. What's up, Muffin? Going to get drunk. Going to get frigged up. <laughs> okay, mom, come on in and have have a uh, yeah, hey, have a talk with me. How are you, muffin? Sorry. Okay. Oh, this game is cool. I love the writing in this game so far. It's very, very good. I'm going to take a break in like five, 15 minutes um, soon. Just because I uh, I didn't, I forgot to take, like I forgot to eat. Like I, I've been trying to drink like a, this like type of, basically I was just going to say protein shake. Um, I'm trying to drink one in the morning and I totally forgot. And it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to try to do that soon. Okay there, Pete. What's our character's name? Pete? Ah. What? Nothing. Damn kettles, <laughs> no, that's no, all. Watch out. Hmm. Has Muff. You all right? <laughs> What's that? Gia. Oh, yes. Got the tea on. Ah, oh, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. Well, don't worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. So you don't want any tea? Look, it's fine. Nothing. What? Why are you so mad? Are you sure? It's it only a game. Might like have nothing. to be mad. Come in, Clara. Do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh. Oh, don't mention it. It's a, it's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um, I'm glad. <laughs> I thought you'd be annoyed. It's not the same for us, is it? It's not the what, same for us. You mean? You what? know what, what most women at Cambridge are like? They can take home whoever they like, and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like. They just get a slap on the back and a well done old chap for us. It's it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you're a girl with a reputation. Hmm. I'm gonna be nice. All right, look, it's it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? <sighs> that sounds nice. I didn't. These two are so cute together. To do with you. That's what I mean. I'm gonna be Not shy. Just me, you mean? <laughs> Right, I'm generalizing. It's just, I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends who play into this whole thing too. The whole. Parade. I like her a lot. Her character's great. I can understand my interest. She better be size. fine. I thought I was a bit 
weird. They're not weird? Well, only in the right ways. Thank you. <laughs> there was a long Sorry, pause after that well. I frame of mind. Uh, I thought the work might help keep my head straight. Hold on, what does that one mean again? I, I haven't done that one a lot. Uh, forthright, strong, and assertive. I don't want to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do I it. I can take over this if you want to rest. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want I, this to be good. I don't want to be, like, too passive. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's perfectionism, for better or worse. Hard to live but I'm trying to be nice to her because I really like her character. And a lot. What's this if it's not ambitious? Speaking of which, there's something I noticed. Show me. I just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings. But don't worry, everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting. It's it's all consistent. It's just it's just consistently higher too compared to the ones we took a few months ago. He's got new equipment, maybe. That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double check everything again now. It's oh no, is this gonna be like? They're gonna really like find out about like nuclear arms or something? It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. Hmm. Because it is during the Cold War. Just take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Oh. Why not? If you're sure. The only thing I don't like about this girl's character is that she occasionally just makes like crazy assumptions about us. Happy Mother's Dear Ma, happy Mothering Sunday. Sorry the card's in such a state. Clara wanted to make it. Dear Ma, Robbie's being mean, and he wouldn't help me with the card. I love you. <laughs> oh, that's such a kid's card to write. It really is. What are those height markings? Oh, yeah. Can I put can I set the mood with some music? I don't know what kind of mood I'm setting. We're setting it. Oh well, look at this. Oh that whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. We didn't own much music. Is this one alright? You can earn captain oh, shit to decorate your boat. Nice. I love it. Man, I was born in the wrong time. <laughs> I should have been right? born in like the twenties. I can't concentrate. Where's that tea? Are you all right? Oh, that, that, my hand. It's hot. I said it was hot. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Hold it up gently. What are you doing? Helping. Putting something on this bandage. Is that honey? Honey. Honey? It helps, trust me. You just talked about it. Show me your hand. Oh, that's silly of me. I used to say that, but then remember women's rights. Oh, that's true, yeah. Is there something else, Clara? Yeah, I guess. No. <laughs> that's true. It's silly. Come on, I'm, I'm sure it's not. It's been a long time, and I, I should be over it by now. I just love like everything about it, the style, the music, like the movies and. You might feel odd here, didn't you? Yeah, but it's strange. I feel guilty too. World was exciting if you were a guy. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I'm I'm talking more just like the style of it and like the themes and everything. I just love it and the music. The music. I'm here again, and here he is, and everything I look at. Well, unless you get conscripted into the war, I guess. It's too difficult. No, uh, I'm happy. I also love the time music. Yeah, that's what, that's more what I meant. But I yeah. Should have done it sooner. Yeah, you make a good point though. All this on you. It makes me wonder if I'd be where I am today if he was still around. You know, Cambridge and the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible person? No. No, but I, oh, I love this music. This I is follow. so nice. I'm in, I'm just in loving this. No what, wouldn't you? I love my father. You know. Your father. What's he got to do with it? I owe him everything. 
my interest in physics, engineering, maths, everything. They take me to all the museums, make little experiments with me in the shed. He was in yeah, shell shock on the way back. Yeah. But when I was still classic radio shows, mostly from the forties and early fifties. I love it. Me and Grady just do a lot of forties and fifties, sixties as well. All that attention. And when he died, it all came to me. His passions. They all became mine. I don't really know a lot of like bands and stuff by name or like singers, but I just like I'll put on the same thing. I'll put on like Spotify playlists of like forties and fifties and just sometimes listen to whether it. he'd be showing an interest in a girl if my brother hadn't, you know. Oh. I just would I have just been forgotten. Wait. Can you finish your hand here. And the worst of it is sometimes I feel. I can't pause. Shit. It's horrible. I can't even see it. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Sometimes oh, yeah. I feel grateful it happened. We should just have a I listen party one day. Chance. Isn't that awful? No. Now kiss. No, I understand. There. You should hold it. Now kiss. Thank you. Here. I think you could manage to hold on to me. This is so cute. We're also getting tons of backstory on like this guy and his um, love interest, which is like the best part of the game. And we're also nicknamed Mr. Cloud, the superhero. Floyd, Floyd, can you hear me? He's doing some paperwork. Peter, you're safe. Where are you? You didn't run into any Soviets, did? I'm guessing you found the Norwegians. Tell me they've got a doctor, mate. This leg is killing me. Floyd, the base I'm at, it's not Norwegian. It's Soviet. Can you repeat that? This is a Soviet base. Sure can. No, no, no. no. Wait, wait, how are you getting this message out then? Have you been captured? This, no, this base is also Floyd. abandoned, so we actually don't I, know what's going on. I don't think it's very cool. Here either. It's freezing. Everything was powered down. I... I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. You followed the map, right? Sure did. I just followed my instincts. But there's another map here. Does it explain anything? Let's have a look. Oh, no, it is the right place. Can you see anything that might be the Norwegian base? Yes, I, yes, I can see it. I can see the flag. I'm not going crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain like? Is it a straight shot? It looks like it's between two mountains. On the other side of a bay. There's a ship marked on there too. Christ. Well, if there's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. Well, there's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. It could be anything. Floyd, I'm going to look for some supplies here, and, and I'll come back, all right? Okay. Then we can regroup. No, 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 Peter, that makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. I haven't been able to raise anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. You need help, Floyd. Yeah, we, we need to, like... Have any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Well, yeah, that's implied. Do you understand? I don't. Better being there to help you. What if I run out of fuel on the way to the Norwegians? So you drive as far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. That's insane. If you could see this map, you'd know how insane it was. Look, get it together. This is it. 
Wow. Okay. Well, I would refuel the, the car, go back and get that guy. I know his leg was stuck, but we would do something. And then we would I'm here, all right. We would bring him with us. Alright, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Good man. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh, I'm uh I'm heading for those two mountains and it's um it's the other side of the bay past that. What? There was a ship. Yes, yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. Mountains, bay, ship. Say it back to me. Mountains, bay, ship. Mountains. Bay. Bay. B A E bay. Ship. What? You think? Two, four. Oh. Uh... Yeah, you might be right, Frost. Yes, we will. You might be right. Just, just hang on. Because right? he. Might... I think you might be right, Frost. Good luck, Floyd. I think you might be right. And if you are right, it totally tricked me because I was like, we need to go get this guy help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it totally tricked me. I was like, we're going to come back for you, Floyd. They have like extra gas. I see some explosive red barrels. Okay, those are the mountains we have to cross. We're almost out of gas. Oh no. Oh wait, we're in our normal car. Wait, what? Isn't that our... Why does that look like our normal car? Doesn't it? Yeah, this is our normal car. I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous getting into the passenger seat. Oh, I see. This is so weird. Oh. No, this way. This is so I've weird. Seen you're driving. Do you want a lift or not? Sorry, old chap. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, should we drive? Put your seatbelt on. Right. Let's see if we can solve this. <laughs> Look at it bouncing. Cryptic one this time. Two down. Get that into first gear, bro. Begins with you. Builder goes mad during door removal. What? Unhinged? Oh, it's a crossword. Ah. Now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. It's a crossword. Unhinged. Un you sure you wouldn't be happier hinged. in the English department? It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although. There was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. I haven't heard anything. What story? Oh. No, you've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Mm -hmm. In Scotland. You. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan. Got taken away yesterday on campus. Caused a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Blah. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. How are you, though? Photographs here on page two. <clears throat> I know her. She's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Well, I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. <laughs> quite you <know>? crazy. <clears throat> quite crazy. She's a friend. Well, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I totally get it. Life gets life comes first, right? You know what I mean? Mixed up in all this, right? Life comes first. You know, politics isn't my thing. Wearing, I'm wearing a brand new writing. diaper. It says here she's rumored to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Muffin. Miss Shanahan, I got a new pair of glasses. Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti-nuclear weapons organizations, all of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. <laughs> she has been charged. Eventually, not soon. He's like, he's just passed out. Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts <laughs> in Moscow. I can't believe it. 
It's going to make the professor jumpy. Not the reason he wanted the university in the papers. Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university. Oh, it's so good to see you, though. Well, same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Going from fancy shirts to oh, and plain pants to fancy pants, and that is true. That is a big life change, Geo. That's probably the biggest life change that's happened. Friend, mentioned them. She is. She'll be worried sick. Look. Despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. I'm not getting worked up. I just don't like the idea of everyone spying on each other. That's all. It wasn't well, great, but you know I me. I'll always get back on my feet. Hell yeah. You know, Hell yeah, you will. Nothing to do well, with I'm sorry you had a rough right. You're right. year to a year and a half. Um, I wouldn't be so sure. But hopefully things what if this is are just turning around. All right. Then. Hopefully. Let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Yeah, the gas um, is almost out. This is what I am when you're driving. Rhymes with verified. Terrified. <sighs> okay. I get the message. Just gonna write yeah, we're just down. about to run. I yeah, I moved. Long enough. I got a dog. No, 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 keep going. No. Come on. I'm starting game design in September. Going a bit farther, a bit farther. Oh, hell yeah, no, Shanzo. No, no, no. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> I also might be going back to school at some point, but I'm not sure. My life's up in the air right now. We'll see. Okay, so we're out of gas. I got a feeling it's going to snap back to where we were. <laughs> That's so good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're here. This is great. <laughs> but don't feel pressured to, like, you know, come back or, like, you know, if you don't have the time or whatever. <clears throat> um... But I am happy to see you. <laughs> it was a weird calling, but definitely a calling. There you go. This is really state of the art technology. If we as a ton. Come on. You can do it. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager This game budget. is fantastic. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I wish I hung out with you guys more. Hey, you know what? I'm just happy for the time that we had and the time that we have, you know? <clears throat> the one thing I regret my... Don't... No, don't regret it. It's okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> I'll be here. And you know me. I want you to take care of yourself first. You know that. You know that. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. Oh, well, that's a relief. Yeah, exactly, Gia. Well, I love to see familiar faces come back. That's for certain, Even just, like, to briefly to say hi yes. and just check up. My oh, master. Gio. Shanzo just subscribed. Thank you, Gia. You didn't have to do that, but that's so nice of you. Oh, God. You suspect something's going on? <laughs> Thank you Foul for giving, Shif giving Shanzo a sub. must be going on. Can't put my finger on it. Oh, she wasn't being very clear. Yes, she my master. She wasn't sure master. if she wants to come back to college. I gotta change that alert. I don't like I don't it anymore, really. See her again. Hi, Herbert. Hi, Herbert. Sounds like it's really affected her. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Yin Yang. I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career. So this girl, this lady, people, Molly or whatever, got so many people think arrested. That where smoke kind of. Spire, it's bloody unfair. For being a spy for the Soviet Union. You don't know she's not coming back. Maybe she no, was the fifth spy. Much she the one that our professor was talking about. Maybe. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. <laughs> Probably because they wouldn't fit. This cold war suddenly you need to find another clip, real, it? clip of uh, Gurley, yeah. That's a good idea. That's what you were thinking? <clears throat> I'm in a quick age of Empire's match. Oh, no worries, Shanzo. No worries. No worries. You do you. <laughs> We'll talk to you when you're done. So it's different every time. I don't know if I can do that without streamer bot. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I do like the idea of a jump scare, though. Like a air horn going off or something. I think I had that before. Or that may have, might have been my raid alert. <clears throat> I do like that idea. So it just scares the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm not Hello. feeling out the room. Hello. 
Oh, a weather balloon. Shall I send it up? On the count of three. One. Two. Too late. Oh, she already did it. That's rude. How dare you? How could you? I'm never tired of doing that. <laughs> Taking all your readings? I just completed mine for the day. Oh, very efficient. I'd expect nothing less. Oh, well, you know me. Ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. There's something I want you to see. Oh, I think somebody else might have done it too. Oh, Gio liked it and tweeted. Sounds Thanks, intriguing. Gio. Follow me, you'll see. Gio. Fancy we climb. You're so fucking precious. <laughs> you can make it up there. <clears throat> Thank can. you. Can you? Come on. That would be so cool if we if we got it. I actually want to get a pair of blue light glasses either way because I do have trouble sleeping. So I'm wondering if it's because I spend too much time on my computer and tablet here. and stuff. Put one hand here, it'll help or, you well, it's definitely not helping. There's a lot more to it, but that's, girl, I can you know, again now. can't make it worse. Thank you, Coopers. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. Thanks. They keep walking. Oh, mouse on the screen. I gotta bring the mouse emote back because I leave it on the screen all the time. To talk to you about them. Are they consistent? Thank you, guy, Mick. Reporting in South America. <laughs> they're not as high, but they're high. Oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the path of the air current. But still. Thank you. It's not right. It might. <laughs> it might. I'm pretty sure I've tweeted a video of me in gold gold bedazzled booty shorts. So you're not wrong. You know, when you're right, you're right. Can't argue with it. That would be pretty cool. Also, my giveaway starts tomorrow as well. If you guys haven't heard about that, we're doing a, uh, a but I'm providing the monitor. Oh, what is it? So hopefully one of our community members wins, but there's going to be a lot of entries, I think. Amazing. This is special. I thought they were extinct. Prob I don't know what a TN panel is. I have no idea. I can post the, the actual just for us. monitor if you guys want. New life, e. Refresh rate is 165 hertz. Wonder if we'll see anything like that again. Yeah. Wonder where it came from. <clears throat> yes, we're giving that away. It's like a two hundred dollar Canadian monitor. Like it's nothing crazy, but it's still like a like it's still like a decent monitor, right? I want to win it. Never mind anybody else. I'm not entering, obviously, but. <laughs> it makes but I really hope someone from our community wins it. That would be that would be amazing. Extra radiation. But they're handling the shipping and everything, so. We kind of talked about it. I think it's like a company that like gets, they get a bunch of stuff at like wholesale prices or whatever. And then they basically charge me retail and then they give it away. So they make a little bit of money on my end. Plus they probably saw my data, which is totally fine. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it benefits you guys, <clears throat> but it, they do seem legit. They have like a million Twitter followers. I did to do some research and Google them on like Snopes and some other various uh, like Reddit and other All websites. And it seems very, everybody seemed positive. The only negative things I saw. Come on were um people complaining that you're not gonna win <laughs> like right. nobody wins like yeah somebody wins it's just not you right <laughs> let's try and work it out so this is like a test run we're gonna see if we'll do more giveaways with them we'll see how it goes and see if it's worth the return um because obviously right. this giveaway is so, with the promotion companies you know? to draw in people you know, to the stream the right are at their highest so, down in the southern hemisphere we'll see and not as high here up north right they probably sell the entry data. It's being diluted. Maybe somehow is my thinking. Uh, mixed in by all the current. You don't. If you don't want to enter, for that reason, I totally well, get it. It's, it's heading from the south. Everyone does. I know, right? Google, Facebook, yes. <laughs> probably Twitter. <laughs> is she in the ground? She was in the ground. Can I go in the ground? Oh, I can. And they did such a good, such a good job on the artwork. That would prove that's what's happening. That there's this general movement north. I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but 
Our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again. Uh, maybe we find. Maybe we find it's like in an Antarctica. It's like a Soviet, like um, weapons establishment. The has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. Maybe. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe. I don't know. Well, whatever this is, people are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might hmm. be onto something. I think we are onto something, and I like it. Now kiss. Damn it. They haven't kissed yet. They've danced, which means she's probably pregnant. But they haven't kissed yet. This is bigger than just clouds, you mean? <laughs> bigger than clouds. Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Yeah, it's in the 60s. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Gaimek. Nobody else, nobody else enter counts. except Gaimek. Okay? It might be what this paper is meant to be about. <laughs> Everyone knows you touch bare hands. Pregnancy is instantaneous. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they did brush hands. They definitely weren't wearing gloves. I can tell you that. Uh, uh, look at this. <laughs> no glove, no love. That's true. Yeah, that's where the saying comes from. Can't hold hands without gloves on. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Just want to get a bit higher. I know a spot. And this is where she falls to her death off a mountain and causes us to go to Antarctica. It's windy up here. Are you cold? Oh, we're back. Cold. Oh, he's like hallucinating. This is cool. Idea. This is really cool. Am I am I kidding about what? The no glove, no love thing and holding hands, getting pregnant. <laughs> am I, what? What am I kidding about? Or is this where she falls off the map? <laughs> What's with the purple grass? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's like lavender. It looks like a plant of some sort. About she fell. Oh, no, I don't know that she falls to her death. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know if she's alive or dead at the end of the game. I have no clue. And I don't want to know until I until I beat it. Beautiful, isn't it? I assume she gets she gets killed somehow. It's a beautiful idea. It would it would be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Sorry, God. He's God's like, oh my god. I can't watch this. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. I know just the person. Would you like to help me with it? She's being held for spy right things. Oh, maybe. Well, of course. It maybe. Could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. I think we're, I think it's oh, going to be a, a so very somber course, game. <laughs> well, of course not. I think it's like it's not going to have a happy ending, but it's it's going to have like a it's relatively awesome. somewhat neutral it's ending thing. with sad parts and happy parts. I think she's dead or dying or dead. And I think he's going to end up getting his paper. But he's going to, like, see more to life or something. You know what I mean? Who knows? It's probably Heather on the hill. What? What that means? Kiss! Yay! They did it! Sensor! Sensor! Where's my sensor button? Wow. Sorry about the graphic detail. Oh, it's a plant. Now she's pregnant with twins, 100%. Technically, she's inside him right now, if you look at that. I knew it wouldn't last. What? The rain. Oh. I think we could make it to those trees down there. Sure. If we run. <sighs> Here it comes. If it hits us, you could take my jacket. Promise that's what I, that's that? what I meant, Frost. I was saying she's technically inside that. him. <laughs> and then, you know, nine months from now, she she gets cramps and then her butt falls off and the baby walks out and then they have to stitch her butt back on. And then they have a baby. This isn't the way back, is it? 
I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. The audacity. Wait. How dare they? <laughs> That's how digital babies are made. Yeah, I've seen I've played the Sims, okay? Slow down. <laughs> I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's great. It's great. Really. <laughs> Finally. Oh, am I controlling now? Oh, I'm controlling now. Okay. What's run? How do I? Why is she? Oh, no. She's leaving me behind. She's the fastest person alive. What is? What are we dating? Usain Bolt? <clears throat> Get back here. Get back here. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Yo, my guy, hurry up. Oh, it's going to transition back to the Antarctic. Okay, We're fine. Oh, what a beautiful game, though. The writing is just on point. <clears throat> Fun fair. What is this? Oh, we're blending memories again, I assume. You're walking like an 80 year old. <laughs> Where's my cane? <laughs> it's so much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's oh I love carnivals. And <laughs> I saw stuff. them setting up this afternoon. Why is there a fair in scaffolding? But now it's more. They're branching out. Oh, I don't know. They're branching um, out. Exciting, I suppose. So just so they Not can say there's a, they have a carnival on every continent. This. This. You realize <laughs> this is a big occasion, don't you? It's her one-year anniversary. It's the first time you've taken oh. me out, Dr. Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night? In public? No I love working, her character. We anywhere. We're out courting. <laughs> They're courting? Look at her. I love her outfit, too. Oh, the red slippers. That is such a staple of, like, the 40s, oh, 50s, you know 60s. So well. The red slippers on, with a sundress. Toys. It's just, I love the style so much. Hmm? Watch this. Don't shoot the penguin. Good grief, what are you doing? Don't shoot the penguin. As you said, <clears throat> courting. Do I actually are have to shoot? Know. I hope there's a little mini game. I'm going to impress the hell out of her. Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, the bears yours. All the more lighter yours. Well, I think this one's more for him. Not many men can do what I'm about to do. <laughs> and you have good aim, do you? My knight in shining armor. And also some Absolutely. mystical creatures every race has legends hmm. about. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, I, I always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. That's true. Look at Yeti. Go on then. Prove yourself, army man. Oh, I actually do. Oh my god, it's 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 unbelievably sensitive. I I literally can't. But can I use my mouse? No. Well, now maybe I had you all wrong. You really don't need to prove anything. Oh, I'm proving it. Lad, only five of them. That scared me. We'll make a soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. Headshot. Now what's he up to, cheeky little bugger? I am in our game. I am oh, not. No. Ah, I am not shooting that bird. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's, uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. No way. That is not happening. That is not okay. Uh-uh. Clara? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Clara? You know that feeling after you take a shit and you just physically feel... Yes, I love that feeling. That's such a good feeling. Like your day is just like brighter, you know, like you just have like you're all of a sudden having at least a 10% better day. 
I do know that feeling. Hook a duck or a hookah duck, possibly. <laughs> Fortune teller. Carousel. I feel lighter with more spring in my step. Gio, thank you for uh, telling us about your bowel movements. I appreciate it. Try your luck. Ten cents. <laughs> I do love carnivals, though, so much. Like, I know they're just like a money grab and you win stupid. Like, you win like a two dollar teddy bear by spending like thirty five dollars. But I do appreciate it. <laughs> you ate your chicken and rice too fast. Now I feel oh, I do that way too much. I have to like physically put my fork down sometimes when I'm too when I'm really hungry. Or else I just wolf it down. I don't care, I'm not shooting the bird, not doing it. Radiation. I can't know what's going on here. <laughs> So I'm, I'm guessing he, he finds a nuclear weapons facility. But it's just a bird? What do you mean? I'm not killing a bird. What do you mean just a bird? How dare you? <laughs> I can eat my weight in rice. Oh, what is happening? We found a nuclear... You're just a bird. <laughs> I refuse to kill pretty much anything, except spiders who are invading my own personal um, space. Do I like fried chicken? I love fried chicken. <clears throat> as long as I don't have to kill the chicken. I love fried chicken. I don't trust people that don't like fried chicken. Gurley is not the biggest fan of fried chicken. <clears throat> so I wouldn't trust her. I don't trust her. Well, then I don't trust. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, nuclear accident. And that's why there was radiation. And that's why they're flying out there. You don't like the bones in fried chicken? I love eating off the bones. Like steak, chicken. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, we're getting hell, hella super, hella super powers. You had a false widow hanging above my window for a month. I named her Bridget. Every time I drew the curtains, she got defensive. Woman wouldn't leave my house. See, if it was in my above my bed, or wait, oh no, you said window. I thought for some reason I thought you said bedroom window. If it's just like in a window, totally fine. But not near me. Not near me. You have a barbecue ribs tonight? I don't know what I'm having tonight. Yeah, I know someone who won't eat anything off off the bone at all. Like chicken wings, ribeye, bedroom window. Yeah, no, it's dead. It's dead. Or I'm trying to relocate it, but if I can't, it's dead. I'm just petrified of spiders, so I don't want to kill it. It's me or them. There were lots at the fun fair. Oh, he's hallucinating. Clara's there. You don't deal well with spiders or snakes. I like snakes. Are you keeping it together? Yeah. No, no, no. There was no one. And then the bone. The mine. A uh, uh, radioactive symbol. A mine. God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? Floyd. Floyd, I can see the ship at last. Oh, I didn't even notice the ship. <laughs> uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. I can. I, I I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's a a boat. A small boat on this side. <laughs> okay. So that's nothing. Do you think you can do it? <clears throat> Excuse me. It might just kill me, but what else can I do? Except stay here. Yeah, that, that is crazy. I don't want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. Um, I'm gonna throw out a theory here. I think his friend Floyd is dead. I think he's been hallucinating all of this. And it's been like 
motivation to keep him going. <clears throat> We're not going to die out here. You can count on me. That's my prediction. Hello? I'm here. I can do it. I just need to warm up. Yeah, like that's his motivation for, for going. If you hang around, we've got a problem. <clears throat> there's, there's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. Oh, no. You don't want to get caught out on the water when the river hits. Look, I know you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. It's all I've got, Floyd. You know that. I'm giving it everything. <laughs> Broken leg on a freezing plane is... Yeah, yeah. I, but I think he died in the plane crash, is what I meant. I or died die. shortly after we left. And all this radio stuff has all been, right. has right. been uh, hallucinating. Right. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes. Yes. I'm ready. It really sounds like he's pushing us to like leave him, like to save his own life. It really does. Peter, good to see you at last. This is so you look well. We were just talking about you, old chap. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right on that one, Frost. If he's if he's alive, you're 100 percent right. <laughs> celebrate. Heard the paper's going shockingly well at last. No need to be too shocked, John. You're. Eminent professor mentioned it. I gather you showed him an early copy. Word spreads when something's good, that's all. Never seen the man so delighted. So, <clears throat> I propose a toast. A to toast? Peter. To Peter. Stop it. Doug, take the compliment, <laughs> will you, Peter? May this be one foot inside the club. <laughs> so all in all, I hear it's been a very productive summer. Got everything you wanted in Scotland. It's an inspiring place. Yes. <clears throat> Very beautiful. <laughs> oh, she is. She is. No worries, Coopers. What are you talking about? Uh, my hands are clean. I just mentioned Clara. That was it. Clara, good man, Peter. Like I said, inspiration. Sorry. Shouldn't I have said anything? I'd rather it was kept quiet. I, I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea, that's all. Clara's been helping with the readings and... Helping? Well, no taking her in there, filing? She's been doing more than that. Oh, I'm sure she has. Well, I thought it was more, you know, assisting than writing. Clara's far too clever for just note-taking. I didn't mean to give you that impression. Oh, I see. So wouldn't that make it a joint paper? Sam, I think we all know that Peter is the real professor-in-waiting here. Oh, I think he knows better than anyone how much he put into it and who wrote what. Isn't that right, Peter? Of course. And he's well aware his chances of promotion would be considerably lower if he'd only done half the work in collaboration. Of course I'm aware. <clears throat> of course. Fine. It doesn't sound like you knew that. <clears throat> collaboration isn't a bad thing. No, I agree. Unless, of course, you're that girl <laughs> Molly collaborating with the communist. Oh, yeah, I think the word you're looking for is collusion. Well, didn't work out too well for her either way. Shame, really. I'd have happily colluded with her. Joe. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Too complicated. I prefer things with fewer strings attached. Having the KGB and MI5 watching through the curtains, that would really put me off. Uh, Molly didn't deserve all that. I wonder what's happened. I wonder if we'll find out what happened. Come back for the start of term yet, apparently. Beyond that, who knows? A vanishing lecturer. Hannibal Lecturer. Someone must know something. You're not worried, are you? You've got no secrets to hide? I just think she was unfairly singled out. It's all water under the bridge. New term. Things will have settled down. Fresh start and all that. My thoughts exactly. New term, new students. Yeah. Speaking of which, what do you think of those two over there? This guy is like just a pig. Very nice, I'm sure. Joe, don't. Hold this, will you? Are you leaving us? Don't be so possessive, Peter. What are you, the wife? Like you said, Sam, never too late for a fresh start. I meant what I said. 
Hearty congratulations on the paper. This guy, this guy is just like all about women. passion, much more than the rest of us. <laughs> and this sounds like that old conundrum: women <clears throat> or work. Just don't forget your years of struggle. Don't miss this opportunity, though. Wouldn't want you missing out on what you deserve. So I think there's going to be like they're going to butt heads between him and Clara, because Thank you. he doesn't want to give right. her like half the credit. I'm off to get what I deserve. Or he's going to accuse her of half the credit, try to take disgrace, it. Joe. Absolutely shocking. He keeps doing that, doesn't he? I hope we don't mess How it up with Clara because I really like I like her character a lot. What's on my monitor? I need to clean my monitors <laughs> like properly. <clears throat> All right, we got to row our row row our boat. Gently across the ocean. Not an ocean. Welcome back. Come on, Pete. Pay attention. Heading the bloody clouds again. That's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. Oh, that is dad. That's faster than that, son. I'm keeping both in time doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> gently across the ambiguously sized body of water. Bro, 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 your boat. Try and gently across the ambiguously the sized body of water. So you tip us in. What a merely, 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 merely. Life is but a dream. Something Do you like want to help? No, this is a test of your listening, son. I'm trying to work things out for yourself. Stroke. 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 How'd you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all. Just take it all, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar. Then where would we be? We'd be going around in circles. <laughs> oh, now, look. There's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Now, remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. Keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no! I'm trying. That side! Harder on the poor side! Help! Jesus, Pete, that one! Oh, we're gonna tip. We're gonna tip. Oh, no. Oh, come on, give it here. Give it here. God, you get back there. I'll do it. Oh. This guy's a dick. I knew you weren't made for this. Maybe you're right. Yeah, like screw this guy. Prove you can go the rest. I don't know who's catching it, but somebody's catching it. Current's not as strong now. Here you go. I hope we got. Yeah, we we obviously pushed through in the real world, right? Hopefully. I have done my best, Pete. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to this is that time. do something by yourself. Now let's prove it. Let's go. Oh, that's, is that Clara? Clara. Oi. Good roar, Captain Hamilton. Oh, get me away from this thing. This is weird. It's going back and forth really fast, but it's so cool. It looks Man, calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm. You're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? Very nasty ripples. Practically a storm surge. I wonder how far along we are. This, I, I read it was supposed to be like four or five hours, and we've been playing it for like two. I think if the wind had been in another direction. Oh, uh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. All right. Thank you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. 
What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? I really like you like this. It's nice. I know I've said this a hundred times, but the art style train is beautiful. And you were so self-conscious about that suit. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I remember it vividly. I remember you struggling with the suitcase. So, this is so cute. You? Hey, she never, they didn't even reply to that. She's Absolutely. pregnant. She's While pregnant. Out, I checked with the hotel and oh. they said we could stay another night. And I thought, why not extend this holiday as long as we can? <laughs> extend the celebration. Celebration? Oh, you know, um, the summer of work. The fact that it's practically all done now. And perhaps we could celebrate us too. Us. Yeah. This is so cute. <laughs> I love Absolutely. this. <laughs> Mr. Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it. I don't say it like that. You do, then that's fine. I love her outfits in this game. They're so nice. Ready to go home soon? Not in the slightest. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, look at these houses. Oh, if I had oh, one, there's I the could boat. go with, perhaps I could be living here. Hey, I can row. <laughs> well, that's good. Because I think I might be in love. Oh, I love the accent too. I, I just love this character so much. The attitude, oh. the the style, the voice. Oh, those two houses it's, up on the cliff. Look. Yeah, uh, she's just fantastic. Oh, which ones do we have? The red character the creations. It's tricky. Why not both? That's why I'm trying to be as nice as possible. I don't want to like screw it up. Red. Uh, okay. Uh, red. My choice exactly. Oh. Almost looks like Gurley's in trouble, say. I know, right? Well, either house looks big enough for me. <laughs> Don't tell her. I gotta delete the VOD. More than me one day. Family. Well, like I said, one day. Actually, I don't want to do that. What about your work? Wouldn't you want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I love my work. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. See why it has to be one or the other. Would you give up work to have children? I would. I really would. No, well, I th think the thing is, I wouldn't expect a man to give it all up. Not if he really loved his work. I wonder what's going to happen. I'm so, so I'm so invested in this. Think that we should give it all up. I keep thinking about all these bright young women I'm teaching, and I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared that despite all they've achieved. Despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is, how fast can you type? You're probably right. It's a real waste of talent. It really is a waste, you're right. Even the jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. Agreed. No, you're right. I think women have every right to state their claim. Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. Also agree. Count on me. I hope you do make a stand. It won't become part of all that. It's not easy, you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. Oh, he's not as bad as you think. I wouldn't be so sure. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? This? This, this work? Exactly. The work we've done. I bet there's gonna, they're going to butt heads. Tell him, won't you? About who did the work. It might be difficult. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. It could be tricky to... You're not backing out of our partnership now. Oh, my God. No. No, I'll do it. I will. You promised me that. Uh-oh. Thank you, promise. promise. Good. Thank you, promise. This is good, isn't it? There's going to be yes. something about the collaboration that's going to get us in trouble. Whether with with her or the um, with the college or the university, or whatever. The SS Salami. Oh, we made it. 
We're here. Is it also going to be abandoned? This is going to be crazy. It looks abandoned to me. Can you imagine being on the ship and some guy just like strolls up and walks in your door? Peter, marvelous to see you do come in. Take a seat. Here's where we I find out about the collaboration, say. I bet. I'm delighted. Uh oh. Delighted. Sorry. Well, that's that's wonderful to hear. I must say it's very impressive. Do you think so? Thank you. Not at all. It's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things, the method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications and not just in your own field. It's marvelous. Huh. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, first rate piece of work, Peter. First rate. Th this other name on here... Dr. Clara McCurry. I presume we can drop that. Absolutely not. Drop it. Uh-oh. Why would I do that? This is where it happened. The well, divergence. Um, I understand you probably had some little research assistance, but uh, well, we all have secretaries. <laughs> we, we just Screw this guy. put the name on the front cover of the paper. What are you suggesting? Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently? Samuel? I have. Doing so well. In their new positions. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more we are sticking with Clara if we can the entire time. Well, thank you. The entire well, time. So well deserved after all these years, especially after the risk you took. Risk. A boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university. Oh. And all those things. It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. I know he's going to try to like rescind it. Hate you to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work. That's all. For whatever reasons you might have. Throwing it away. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, there is a world of I'm not doing it. Out there. Oh, good. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I feel like it's going to be like the army or like the in Navy In fact, or I something. think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. I'm sure you would be able to cope, but I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman, should you? Uh, we're being stern. And okay to foist upon man's of course well and I've no doubt you'd be up to the challenge yourself with this name on here there is a good chance it will cause problems I'm sure I could handle them <laughs> this isn't all about you it could be problems for everyone Clara was close with Molly Shammer who was a oh no the one suspected of being a communist spy She wasn't charged. How close they were is the real question. Clara joined Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. People are saying Clara's a spy now. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's started digging. I don't like this guy. Yet. A lot of people, very important people, believe you are either with this country or against it. Some of the benefactors of this college. We're sticking with it. I don't care what happened. We're sticking with Clara. I'm not being convinced. You call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the If we have the choice. I would agree with that. Wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'd hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Four business has been bad enough. <laughs> we can't change the past, Peter. We can learn from it before we fool ourselves into remembering it too kindly. And with this name on here, with the associations one might make. Nope. You see what I'm saying? Mm, nope. I see. But I 
really think her name should stay. Good God, Peter, I am trying to make you understand. Oh, I understand. You're a <laughs> complete dick. The way the rod sets in, it's the slow knife. <sighs> Members of this universe were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union 10 years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons, the only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in 10 years' time? What happens to the integrity of this college in 10 years? If you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to, and what happens 10 years after that? I'm still sticking with it. Don't care. You're not going to convince me. Cannot survive by making oneself wrong. He sounds a lot like our dad in this game. That is why this university is still here. That is why I am still here. I hope you understand how much I care about your success. So common for work to fade into obscurity after it's published. It would be a shame if yours were denied my full throated support, especially after so. So he's basically saying he's going to. Um, no, I'm not doing years it. Working with us. I cannot make your decisions for you. By all means, publish with Clara as a co author. I'm going to. Being generous, but. If you do, you'll have to take your chances. It would be difficult for me to bring to bear any influence I have. Fine. Deal. By way of illustration, I've been addressing Whitehall here. Thank you. Fred, I can't tell you much more now, but he's a good man. Kane. You may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out of this. But why? I'm sure things will become clear soon. What is going on? This is so weird. I think you've made things very clear. Well, <laughs> I don't. Let me know what you decide. Just knock any time. My door is always open. Where are we? Oh, is it one of the portholes? There's a flag up there. It's the Norwegian flag. I don't know if you... Yeah, you guys can see it. On the far right. We gotta go. This is a long walk. This is a very long walk. You got this, Peter. We got this. I believe in you. That's way too long of a walk. I know, right? But I guess if you like keeping the cat cold, I see. Yo, what's up, Tissy Tune? Dude, I was literally just about to yell, I believe in you too! But I decided not to. And then you show up. Because I was like, I believe in you, Pete. <laughs> it's like I called you. It's like it's like we're on the same wavelength, you know? <laughs> what's up, dude? How are you? <laughs> I love that. That is so awesome. I love that when you do that. It's so good. Jump! No, you can't believe it. Hey! Over here, come back! Hey! Oh, there's a, like a camp? Is that the Norwegian camp? Whale bones. Get some work done. Needed some good. Oh, you got some work done and needed some good Gordian entertainment? We're playing this? Oh my god! Oh my god! I, I didn't realize I was dying!
What have I done? <laughs> wake up. I got an achievement called Wake Up. Wake up! Why'd you put beans on instead of makeup? You wanted to. <laughs> it was graves? I, didn't, I missed them. I missed the graveyard. Okay, what is going on? I did not get any housework done today. <laughs> because I kind of slept in and then started streaming. I'm so invested in what's happening with Clara. Usually I don't care about like the flashbacks of games. I'm like, it's always just filler. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Just get back to the main story. But no, I really, I really like, I really like Clara. Telegram. To send via Morris. Oh no. Remember they heard beeping? Do you, do you remember on the radio? They're like, he said something about listening to the beeping. From Jay Schwartz. A U.S. Antarctic survey. Station Norway station. So, landslide collapsed. Oh, SOS. Landslide collapsed. Main huts used medical training to help Norwegians. One man still injured. Two men dead. Suspected Soviet activity. Old ship behind the mountain of no use. Abandoned. That's when we were at, probably. Please send ship. Please help. Oh, God. Am I, to, am I to go back outside? Okay. And the ship just left. Yeah, we've been, like, abandoned. Well, they didn't know they abandoned us, but... I kind of feel abandoned, though. <laughs> oh, no. This is this is brutal. It does. <laughs> I don't know if it does. But, like, I don't want to, like... Because, like, she'll blame herself because it was, like, part of her that made what us do the happens? research. Peace. How'd you do? So good to meet you. How'd you do, do the Morris code and get the ship turned around? Excuse that would be me. ideal. Yeah, we need to find a telegraph. Still three o'clock, yeah? This one <sighs> Yeah, it just says you up. Right then, please do take a seat. <laughs> Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little <laughs> too, considering how busy you've been recently. Then you go <laughs> beep 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 beep. Aka send nudes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try to. Good. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. Well can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. Oh, you're, you're, you're interested yeah, they're, they're in trying the to find out oh, where the radiation is. The paper is going very well, I hear. It is now. Thank you. Oh, yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed us a copy. So they want to be able to find out and where, the, where Russia, the amount of information you've managed the Soviet Union is storing well, I imagine nuclear weapons, I bet process of gathering it was rather difficult on your limited budget i uh, i had some help oh yes we uh, we heard about that as i said we were most impressed and wanted to make you an offer a reward even a reward a reward well you is, there, that is there cash involved limits by now what would you say if i could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The, the heart of things? I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? Well, well it was um, me and, and someone else. I see. Well, whatever the details, <laughs> I'd say... That no, Gamic, you're awesome. ...a study on location, wouldn't you? It does. I'm glad you agree. So this is how we got to Antarctica. the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctica, scientist bods. Happy amateurs, very passionate like yourself. Of course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw on the paper before you go. 
I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. Uh, the other name, um, Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely. Clara. Name. Probably Clara. for the best she wouldn't be able to go. Oh, not my say-so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. Whose say-so is this? I can assure you this is bigger than any one person. Bigger than two people, you mean? I see. Well, mm. you signed those papers on your way in earlier, so I'm at liberty to tell you a little more. Things in the Antarctic, they've been okay. a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the graph. Oh. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades. Oh, is it like it's mining? Kind of thing. Oh, Are they mining for like uranium? Over there, dropping swastikas in big circles before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous, really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Oh, this Still, game is so we're good. Trying to work with them. That, that sounds like a wise idea. It was wise, or so it seemed. Oh, it this should game all is so be good. in everyone's interest, you see. Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty. All a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago. Set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Now, if it sticks, everyone will be frightfully happy. Every side content that they've staked their claim. No more aggression, let's say. <sighs> Sounds sensible. Okay, it does. You'd have thought so. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're rather worried that it might all fall through. I'm sure you are, but how does this affect me? Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation out there, what the readings are. If there are any bombs being set off on the continent, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets uh, might do next. Okay, okay. You'd be Hi, Lynn. Your best equipment. Oh, come so. on in. Sorry, I'm really into this. I'm barely talking. I love this. You How are you? Us. This is still it's so climate good. science. I'm just loving this game. It's so good. Absolutely right. The less we're involved, the better, really. But as I say, if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. Okay, let's see. My career is fine. Thank you. Well, after speaking with a few people, Professor Hargreaves, for example, I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions... Okay, so they're basically like, not blackmailing us, but you have no trouble besides, like, I'm living in an oven, I'm surviving. Oh, no. And Try to stay cool as best you can. Think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. Yeah, it is so hard out. What do you think? Hmm. All, all right. right. I'll consider it. Please do. Sorry, I've got a meeting in Holy Westminster shit. in 20 It feels like 39 degrees Celsius outside right now. It's been very good to What is that, like 102? 103? 100 let me know. 104? And if this Clara thing feels like a sticking point, all I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity? Well, clearly I go. And to do what's right. But I don't want Clara's name taken off of it. I see. Well, um... I'll do what's right. You can trust me on that. Well, welcome on in, Lynn. It's good to see you. come and go. This is for your country. Yeah, and now we're dying. It's 14 degrees Celsius. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's nice, but that's much less hot than here. <laughs> okay, what does this say? Transcript of received message from U.S. military attache. Antarctic comms. Norwegians aware of emergency. Norwegian Navy sending a sister ship for rescue. Keep watch for scout plane. Landing craft will receive receive all at 1,800 hours. Prepare stretcher for injured man and transport to landing area. Oh, no. So we missed it. Can we let a fire? Let's burn all this wood. Look how much wood there is. Let's burn it. Okay, we got to find the telegraph.
Okay, so there is another building down there. I guess that's where we go and walk by the graves, I suppose. I mean, you, if you had something to like start a fire with, you could probably survive here for a while. And I'm assuming there's supplies because they said everything was left. All the people's stuff is left, but our friend is definitely dead. I'll tell you that much. He's probably already dead. But... So there was a landslide and they, they think the Soviets were involved. So there's two graves. That's what they said. Man, could you imagine being stuck in the Antarctic? Like, alone? Like, could you imagine what that would feel like? Like, that would just be, like, the craziest, like, most isolating feeling. Like, I hope I don't stub my toe because that pretty much means I'm going to die. <laughs> you know? Like if anything, if any one thing goes wrong, I'm going to be dead. Okay, there's a vehicle there, though. Oh, these are like storage silos or something. Can we... Can we get in this car? I think it looks cool. It kind of looks like a Jeep. It looks like a Jeep with tractor. It's like a Jeep tank. I'm in a tank. You're not. Get out of the tank right now. <laughs> you're not my dad. Maybe there's a radio. All right, one second, guys. Sorry. Sorry. You have pins and needles in my left leg. Have you been sitting on it weird? Are you on the toilet for too long? Are you are you in our chat on the toilet right now? <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Sit on the toilet too long and your legs go numb and then when you stand up, it's like the worst feeling. But it doesn't hurt until you stand up and then when you until you start walking. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's done that. Especially after the invention of smartphones on your bed. <laughs> yeah. Muffins, you're on the toilet? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Me too, watching too many TikToks. I know, right? You're just sitting cross legged. Yeah, you're probably just cutting off circulation then. The flare! The flare! Oh my god, the flare! Floyd's still alive! Holy crap, Floyd is still alive. Put that thing in high gear. Let's go! Let's go, baby. I want to see a wheelie. We're going to wheelie through this snow. Let's go. It's going to be like Fast and the Furious. He's alive. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Let's go. Let's go. Zigzag in case the Soviets shoot at us. Oh, come on, Floyd. Okay, we have a full tank of gas, which that's probably like $400 worth of gas with these prices in this economy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go get Floyd. We're coming, Floyd. Don't be dead. If you're dead, I'm going to be so sad. But we're coming. Come on, baby. Hell yeah. I hope there's some sick jumps. Getting, getting quite bouncy. If the snowmobile is a rocking, don't come unknown. Oh, yo, did you guys see that jump? Yo, we hit a jump. That was sick. We got some air. Clip it. No, I'm just kidding. The what? Oh, 
Okay, no, that's obviously not the end. That's the end of a movie we we're watching, right? Okay, we're watching. We're at the drive-in. Earth was that all about? Well, cowboys, of course. I mean, okay. I might have enjoyed Woo! it as a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. Oh, that had me. That got me. Presenting themselves as if they're heroes. That got me. The land grabbers they actually. Yeah, are. I know. Bunch of big a dicks. Bit of harmless escapism. <laughs> you know what you're about to see? That they were just men testing themselves against the world. I do hear where you're coming from. Oh, come on, Floyd. We're getting you. We're getting you. I'll stop it now. We're saving you, and maybe the plane's gonna see us. And another thing, where were all the women? I counted one. She was a cook. She was a very pretty cook. Are oh you serious? God. What? She was. Come on, Floyd. Stay oh, alive. Talk to me. Be alive when we get there. I'm only teasing. I I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. Come on, Floyd. Let's turn the radio on, would you? Sure. Mm, of course. Much. Prime Minister is right. The Prime Minister has urged for calm. Oh no. After news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. Neither Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. Oh no. Maybe After that's how we get convinced Trump to go. What he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned them the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. I bet Clara convinces us to go. She convinces us to take her name off the paper. <laughs> Oh, we're here! Hey, stop shooting, you mad fool! He's shooting at us! Oh, he's hit the engine! You've hit the engine! What, are you, what have you done? It's you, mate! Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate, I thought you were a bloody Russian! Not a bad shot, though! I'm gonna catch us a gull for our tea. You hit the vehicle. Oh, the is he like, dead. is he hallucinating? Like he's, he's out of it. Took the last of those painkillers and drop a whiskey sort of oh. right out. Yeah. I thought I'd go for a walk. You need to get back inside. I thought I'd go for a walk. He's got a broken leg. Ah, oh, yeah, I had to get away from those beeps. It's better out here. Believe me. It's not better out here. Oh, I'm so glad he's alive. Even though he shot at us. Can you move yourself? I'd rather stay out here, mate. Fine. I'll leave you to freeze to death, shall I? Come on. So we're back where we started. Maybe we wake up and it was all a dream. It was all a dream. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would break my monitor if that happened. How are you feeling now? Uh, a bit shitty. But better. Uh, I just uh, just needed that. It didn't say. It just we just woke up in the plane. Mate, That's how the game uh, started. The bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. Do you know there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while? Are you sure you're not hearing things? Huh? I might have been out of it for a while, but I know what I heard. Yeah, said it urgently, whatever it was. Same phrase over and over. Oh, Probably the SOS. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Uh, bloody well, I hope not. Well, I hope someone's here. They don't want us here, you know? Why the hell should they save us, eh? You don't know that they wouldn't help us, do you? Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. I would hope it would help you. Because we're not like soldiers right now. You think some Soviet's going to be happy to see you get out of here alive? You've got another thing coming. Personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either. Before he did the same to me. Alpha Romeo Lima. This is Faraday. Faraday Station calling. 
Faraday Station? What's that? Do we know where that is? I don't know if we know where that is. I don't think we saw that on the map or anything. Are we glad to hear you? Hello? Uh, we picked up at a track call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're very faint. Uh, can you tell me your position? Over. You lost? What'd you lose? Floyd, what's our position? Oh, Three your game. Degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello. Oh come on! Don't give me like a don't give me a sliver of hope. Hello, can you t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. Uh, hold on. Yeah, a little like fruit fly flying around. What the hell are they doing? A radiation leak. Who called that? Was that Frost? Do you think that's legit? Do you think that's legit? Yeah, they're getting radiated. He was like right at the radiation yeah, source, so. Turn it off. He's not saying over like he's supposed to. Ah, oh, well, ain't that a beauty? <laughs> Rescue. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, come on, you heard them. They're sending someone out. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. You still need to sell Fire them. him. Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, the whole endeavor would just look nuts. Shackleton, remember him? He marooned most of his men on an island for a year. Oh, no, it can't have been like that. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failure. I bet Floyd's gonna Just die nice. before the rescue gets there. Hey, how does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? Well, anyway, that's if we make it out. Hope they find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Watch, he's gonna be like, I didn't send any flares. How much you want to bet? Oh. Dumb oh. luck. No, no, come on, seriously. Well, no, what yeah, watch. I didn't send any flares. Watch. The flares that you sent up. What's that? I never sent up any flares, mate. Yes, you did. Stop messing around. No, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody panicked me for a while. I saw them with my own eyes. How else do you think I got back to you? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? Huh? See anything? It's too hazy. Wait. There it is. <laughs> That's not far away. So there is some here. Do you think they're friendly? I think we should stay where we are. We're going to need more food soon. Oh. Put that down. This is from World War One. Would you believe? Why are you playing with that thing? Here. One bullet left. Why the hell do I need this? We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is... I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. In doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. Like Han Solo. There's only one bullet. That's the one. <laughs> Better hope there aren't two of them. So, you're going to wait around here all day then? 
back soon. We're going? I didn't I, I thought we were near the end. Why would we go? Why not just wait? We got help coming. What do you mean food? You can last like a month though, food. I mean, you need water, but there's like snow. Melt it down and drink it. Okay, I'm not going to shoot whoever I see. Uh, actually, I don't know. It depends what they look like. Like if, if they're if they have like a gun and they're aiming it at me, then maybe I will. Is that a snowmobile? Oh my god, do we get to ride a snowmobile? shot. Oh, of course it's a flag. <laughs> Thank God. So who is this guy? It looks like us. Oh, I guess you could just shoot him. I want to know what happens if you just shoot him, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, he's Russian. Yes. Oh, he's going to help us? Hell yeah. See? People are just humans, you know? Peter, <laughs> at the core of it. You. You've come at the right time. Smart ass Russian. I like that, though. It, it's like a little joke to break the ice metaphorically, of course. Not literally. I'm getting really cold, you? Then you can instantly trust them. Just instantly trust them. Well, I'm a muffin. Well, have you I know you're a muffin, muffin, muffins. Clara and I, we, we're too close now. Game dev is I worth can't it. Take off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. As I've always said, your decision. You will be fine. Is he gonna carry us back to the? Yeah, he's carrying us back to the plane. Oh, I hope this. I hope Floyd doesn't stab him. Good. You have a friend. Help! I, wh what are you doing? Get, get the hell out! This man, he's not in good condition. Jesus, Peter, what have you done to him? Maybe I saved his life for now. Now, what till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter! Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damned Soviet agent in here? I didn't. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. Coming? No, no. They're coming, all right. Just not for you. No, no. Nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put. And you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Right. Who the hell are you? What are you doing? Tell me to piss off. You and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... We do not have time for this. Can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. 
How the hell did you oh, he's an engineer, right? <gasps> you must already have transport. He's, he's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. It's true. It's but our car has gas in it. What, what happened out there? We can siphon it. I, I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. I'm not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? Yeah. This man put a bullet through the engine. He's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. Here. Here it. So. We need to fly or we die here. Die here? What's going on out there? It's a, it's a radiation leak, is that it? It's been contained, they told us on the radio. No leak. Yeah, what's up, Chase? The dead? How are you? They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Oh, they're so, testing a nuke? You have radio? You have heard countdowns? Beep, beep, like Sputnik? That's, that's a countdown. Oh, it's no. Right. They're dropping a nuke? It is countdown. We do not have long. You, you have heard it getting faster, yes? Was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. <gasps> yeah, Chase, we're doing well. This game is so crazy. I love it. This is so good. So they're testing a nuke. That's why everything's abandoned. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. Uh -oh. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dark. Do you hear anything? Uh, hold on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ Almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, it's more complicated. Frozen carburetor, that's not it. You have a lighter? Something to heat it? Uh, wait. Uh, yeah. Then I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then we're all right. We're, we're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all safe. Jesus. What is happening? Saved by a Soviet. No, it's all right. We're going to be all right. It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. The Russian guy? <laughs> Me too. Lucky we found him. Yeah, lucky he couldn't shoot straight. He's... Yeah! Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath in the fuel tank. No, no, no. You said you saved the plane. No, I saved us, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I, I, I can close it up, but that is not a problem. There's no fuel. Can you check again? There is nothing. We have fuel in the the car. Then it doesn't matter even if we fix it. I don't know if that works for planes. No point. We're screwed then. Yeah, un unless uh, there is fuel in the wing tanks, maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Then we are, as you say, screwed. Huh. Might as well make use of that lighter. Not your usual brand, I would guess. Oh, thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed, might as well be mates. Ah. Okay, how are we gonna miraculously get saved? Any out there anymore? No. How did this guy get left behind? Why were you alone? Yeah, there we go. 
I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. They did not see me stop. Uh, maybe they reached the coast before they even realized. She... They just left you there. I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and uh, they had their orders. They wanted to survive. Yeah, they would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, you have not been so lucky, too. Storm got us both, eh? Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am engineer and uh, translator, too, sometimes. This guy is great. Help translate British and American radio traffic. That makes me think. What were you doing here? All right. In this new spirit of international cooperation, you might as well know. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there. That right, Peter? This is like a movie. Climate science. This is great. Yeah. The clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone, too. You were doing climate science here as well? You know, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. You were studying something else? We were studying you. Oh, I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, no, I was going to study radiation in the clouds. Climate science, yes. Um, so, maybe it is you who are a spice. Yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? Yeah. yeah, so they're mining for like uranium or something? That far. I did. So you, you saw the base where we live? Mm. Must have been awful there. No, we packed everything up in the big trucks before we left. We, we don't think we really live like that. <laughs> we must have thought we were animals. No. No, I didn't think so. Well, who says you're not? Oh. He has been funny. Yeah. <laughs> Not very. I blame the whiskey. He's been drinking it all day. Well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things too. The clouds? Tell me it was something peaceful, please. No, no, I cannot say it, uh, it was peaceful. Uh oh. Your bomb tests. No. Your bomb tests. Wait, what? No. What? The British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents it. It should prevent the Americans too. But this does not stop them. Oh, it's interesting what they had told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? That's no. crazy. I mean, n not in those exact words. Did they tell you you would really be studying your own? I don't like what you're suggesting. I don't know what they said, but our government, they lied to us. Well, my government wouldn't. Yeah, what, whatever you think, we know British bombs have been getting too close. The shock Who do we waves believe? from one caused the landslide, killed two men. The, the Norwegian base? Yeah, I believe so. We don't test here, seems you do. And each time your bombs uh, go, they, they, they make more places unusable. Like oh, this is crazy. Are you saying that's a, a British bomb that's going to go off? No. This bomb is Russian, and it will be dropped right over the mine. What? Wait, wait, you destroy your own mine? Yes, the mine is old. They can leave it. But they they want to destroy it, to uh, 
keep it a secret. Nice way to keep a secret. Yeah, very bloody inconspicuous. Maybe they they think it is better this way. Huh. Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to. Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Surely they're better than this is so good. Retaliation. Oh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a jest. Nah, it sounds bloody whiskey. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. What, and risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too? They are just as guilty. Ah, oh, it's all just flag waving. Bullshit, I don't wow. care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still caught up in me. I also do not care about taking sides. I am tired of their secrets. I just want you to get home. We all want you to go home. Oh, we are all the same. Why not? If there's a plane with a bomb on it, and that is what the countdown means. And we're stuck in the middle of it all. Yes. <sighs> Can't believe there's no fuel. No fuel. And no escape. Or is there? Or is there? Or is there? It is getting worse. Keep keeping stiff upper lip about it. I do not understand it. I don't worry, a British thing. Man, I must say, though, like the voice acting in this game is just awesome. My final cigarette would be British. Yeah. Might as well go the whole hog. Not like I'm keeping it for later. Maybe not in your condition. I don't think you can hear me. Peter? When it comes, uh, what do we see? A uh, flash of light. It'll be quick, right? I hope so. Uh, that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I wonder where it came from. Uh, bottom of the barrel, maybe. <sighs> Oh. Ah, oh, he's coming round. Thought you were completely oh. out of it. He said he said you wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Ah uh, yeah, so you did hear her. Yeah. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I did. I've, I've seen barrels. I've seen What's that? Barrels. What kind? What, what what color do you paint your aircraft fuel? Uh, red. Uh, uh, red. Red. Red with a, a white stripe. We did see. If we. Oh. Yeah, I, I've seen them. Lots of them. Where? The, the British base that way. Oh, you little beauty! Why? Why didn't you say? I I I, I didn't know. I I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? Uh, uh, it's not that far. It's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone needs to go. To right. Yeah, th there's only one who can go. What? No, no, he's in no fit state. No, he's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We, we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Come. Do we have the time now? Do we have the choice now? <laughs> yeah, you might as well try. Like, what are you talking about? Come. We just accept it. Let's go. Hi, 
Uh, you, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. I was kind of hoping there would be a sad ending. We pull I love games that are brave enough to do that. A for but you guys. We'll see. One. One. Two. Two. Three. 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 Bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! Then give me that. What? We need your solver, you fool! Hey, that's for my leg, mate. <laughs> I need that! You know they're gonna be racing the nuclear explosion. Oh, I know. You? They're gonna be flying out with the bomb behind them. You know we and it's gonna start like shaking and rattling. They're like, ah! Towards that red light. <laughs> 100%. It coming very fast. You need to be quick. You can't do this. We need you to do this. Please. I oh, I can it. do it. We will die if you can. I, I'm just so mes me memorized by the art. I know. I come. The art is so but good. The voice acting is so good. The story is now. good. Please. Go. Go. Come on. Up. I guess we're going to find out what happens to Clara as well. Man, what a great game. I told, I'm telling you, 11-Bit Studios um, like publishes like the best games. Or wait, are they a publisher or a developer? I don't even know. But they are, whatever they do, they're, whatever they touch. Yeah, they're a publisher. Whatever they touch is, is brilliant. You've been so caught up, you forgot to take lunch. It's 1 a.m. and I haven't had anything to eat or drink. Oh, my God. So, Frost-approved story. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Oh, we're dancing again. Oops. I just wanted to turn it up. <laughs> yeah, 1 a.m. I love this. Oh. To go. You promised. You lied. We lied about going. Get away from me. The, the Gordy Euro Tour? I know, we've been talking about it again. No, no. Gordy Sorry, Con. No, you didn't miss it. It could have been We're talking so about Gordy Con 20 uh, TBD. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, we, we are good, aren't we? You might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised, promise you that. Promise you that? What? Oh! Clara! Don't you worry about me, Peter. I'll be fine. Oh, no. Going to see your professor, were you? Oh. How more for me. I, I did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys club over me. What happened? You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, I, I told him. The word gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. Oh, yeah. I thought you were different. Not introducing yourself as Doctor This or Doctor That when we met. Wait, no, no, I introduced myself as Doctor Hamilton, but that doesn't matter. Did you? Oh, and I suppose you didn't run away from my lecture that time. Didn't let me go on that march all by myself. You don't take one sugar in your bloody tea. What is she talking about? What? 
It's like when we were talking about living in that blue house by the sea. Why is it all different? It's so frightening about that. Why the sudden panic? I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. I don't remember one. Anyway, no, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the red house, not the blue one. <laughs> your memory, Peter. I can't even think straight. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm so confused. She's getting everything wrong. I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, yes, absolutely. Peter, were you ever here? I'm here now. I'm here. Not gonna be fooled by this any longer. Do you actually believe yourself? Maybe. Or it's just misremembering, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving that. I can bloody well promise you that. I feel like we made all the right choices with her. But there's there's like no way to have a happy ending. Because I made all the right choices. Everything I did was like for her. Except the tea, yeah. <laughs> Except the tea. Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. So we that's why we leave? Is because she like basically broke something up. Something you us? wanted to let me know. I'm going with this. Clara did half the work. She's owed the credit for it. I'm sticking with Clara. I like this so much. Push, push. Stay straight. Stay straight. Straight. <laughs> true. Straight. Oh, he's going. He's going nuts. God, that scared the shit out of me. Hi, Soju. Gaster's back. Back again. Soju's back. Uh, farts again. Ah, uh, here comes the nuclear explosion. Plane flying away. Beautiful thing, if you wanted it to be. Tamaguchi, come here. Yeah, this is my microphone. This is my microphone cover. He should have googly eyes, though. I can put little hands on him, too. But he has two right hands.
This game is so, go so good. Let's go. Okay, follow me. It's a sentimental game, yeah. It's like a story-driven game. It's so good. This isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait. This was like the beginning. Oh, that was so goddamn good. 